Hey guys, it's Nina Soul with Spiritual Vibes. I am doing a video today because um, I got my package of animal parts. So, and <clears throat> I'm sorry, I was eating a piece of chocolate, so my voice is all ugh. okay. Um, Louis. So, okay, just a disclaimer: if you guys are uncomfortable with animal parts or fur or anything like that you might want to um, not watch this video because I'm actually going to be sharing to, uh, today with you guys my package that I got today of animal parts and of course my boys are going crazy wanting to see what's what I have in the box so uh, they probably will get in the way a little bit so you guys will probably be seeing some of Armani and Louie cool so, um, yeah, with that being said, I guess we'll get started. Okay, hold on one second. Oh, and just to let you guys know before I start showing anything, um, I am an animal lover. I don't care what anybody says because I have these things that I am, you know, not an animal lover which I you know I really really am an animal lover so just know that any of these things that I have are I got from people that actually hunt and eat these animals and they sell the parts and I buy them so um, I just feel that if they're using every part of the animal because I myself do eat meat uh, I just feel that it's I feel that it's more for, you know, it's it's that you're respecting the animal more that you don't want any of its parts to go to waste. So if you're going to take a life, you're going to use every piece of that animal. Here's Armani. Armani, go over there. Ugh. It's not so much Louis. It's more Armani because he's so big. He gets in the way. You're getting in my lighting tool. Go over there. Okay. Anyway. Go, go. I'm telling you guys, they just want to see what, what I have in the box because they smell. Armani, come on. <laughs> go over there. They smell it, so it's like they want to, they think it's something for them. But Armani, come on, you guys, go. Go, go, go on. Go, vete para allá. Go, go on. Move. You want a treat? Then go over there. Go. Go, go, I'll give you treats. Go over there. Okay. <sighs> Alright. Anyway, let me hurry up and get this going because. Stop. Go. Get this going because they're gonna be acting like this the whole time. They're going nuts. Nuts for these parts. So. Alright. First thing. Go. I got some rooster feet. Move. Go. Go over there. Go over there. Hold on, you guys. I'm gonna put a gate up really quick so that way they can. There's like a barrier and they can't keep coming over here. Hold on. No, Louis. You touch that. There. Huh. Now. Now. All right, no more interruptions, I promise. Unless my husband calls or something like that because you know that, you guys already know that shit happens often. But all right, so anyway, I got a rooster feet. I got two of these actually, I got the pair. So here's the other one. And there's some fur, like some little fuzzy feathers right here at the islands and you can see it's like where it was connected right here and you know this box actually smelled a lot like when you walk into a pet store and you just smell like all the dog bones and stuff like that it's pretty much how this box smelled so it wasn't like didn't smell like death or anything like that like oh like you just smelled death when you open the box no um, it smelled like dog bones. So, it's the chick, the rooster feet. I'm sorry, the rooster feet I got. 
And then I got this rabbit fur. And it's really, really soft. And when I opened this box, the way that I felt when I opened it and when I'm seeing these furs and the, the feet and things like that, I didn't feel sorry or sad or anything for the animal because I knew that the people that I, I guess the energy from the people that sent me the, this package, like the energy of the items itself was like, you know, it just didn't feel wrong. Like it wasn't like, okay, they just took these animals and killed them and took their fur and just sold their fur. It wasn't like that. Um, these people are actually eating the animals that they kill and then selling the skins or the feet or whatever you know selling selling the parts that they're not gonna use so that's why I didn't I didn't feel I didn't feel sad or I didn't feel bad I the, the everything has a really good energy to it so um, this is the fur and it's pretty big it's a pretty big um, I want to say it's maybe like 12 inches. It's pretty big. So I got that. And all of these items that I um, I got, I have plans to do certain things with them um, that I will probably be putting in my showroom. So um, I'll keep you guys updated. I know I already have plans for these rooster feet. And then I got some rabbit's feet. And they're so soft, like the bottom pads, like, I mean, they don't have pads, but it's just so fluffy right there. Go over there. Louis trying to get out of the gate right now. I'm telling you, they're so thirsty. Not thirsty like water-wise, thirsty like, oh, I, I want that shit-wise. So that's, that's what they're on right now. Anyway, these are my bunny feet. And then I got some wild turkey plumage so they're feathers basically i'm gonna use these feathers in my ritual smudge fans or my i'll probably because i do i do two kinds of smudge fans i do a ritual smudge fan and um just a regular smudge fan so my ritual smudge fans are bigger and they're they have more things on them they have more crystals um things like that they just they have more to them because a ritual smudge fan is a little bit more different than just a regular smudge fan so I do make both of them so these feathers and um, yeah pretty much everything that I have right here is going to be used in something that um, or in a, a few things that I'm going to be making so I'll keep you guys posted on all of that as far as that goes uh, let's see and then I have some chicken feet that I, I mean, I feel like I'm finished with them already, but I don't know, I might do a little bit more to them. And I want to give a little shout out to Lady Grave Dancer because um, because of her chicken feet video, she inspired me to make chicken feet. So these are my yellow ones that I made and they are hung by a little, a little string. And yeah. So those are my chicken feet that I made. And these ones right here, these ones hold the intention of happiness. It's kind of like when you hang these up, it's kind of like um, for protection of your happiness, to keep a happy home. The nails on them to me are like, you know, I will happily, I will happily mess you up if you try to steal my happiness kind of thing so that's why i was like yes this these are going to be for happiness and protection of that happiness and okay so these are yeah this is all for the the parts the body parts that i have <laughs> i'm gonna call this video animal parts or whatever body parts i don't know i'm gonna call this video something but that's all for those parts and then i did dehydrate some fruit slices because i am planning on making some um some soaps so i don't know just to show you guys i thought they were really pretty look at there goes hubby oh no no it's my cousin i'll call her back so um these are the grapefruit slices and 
they have nothing to do with the, the animal parts, I know, but I just figured that, you know, I just got done making these today, so I decided that I'd throw them in the video and kind of show you guys. Um, so I did some grapefruit slices, and I did some lemon slices, and I like how dark these got. They got really dark. I made some lemon slices, and these are going to be going in my lemon basil soap. And the grapefruit ones, I, I think I'm going to put these in like an uplifting or yeah, like an uplifting kind of soap. I don't, I haven't decided. Maybe I'll put like, I don't know. I'll have to see what I, what I come up with or what I decide to do. But I'm going to put the fruit slices in the soaps and yeah. Well, that's it for my video tonight, guys. Um... I'm just waiting for hubby to get home from work and then we're going to decide what we're going to do for dinner. So yeah, that's it. I just wanted to make this video and share my animal parts that I got with you guys and I hope everyone's having a great night um, and see you at the next video. Blessed be.